the difference between directing and producing and performing in movies? What's the difference? Well, performing, you just show up and do your job, and then that's it's over. In producing and directing, you know, you're there from the start to the finish, all the way through the final process, the inception, and then the uh, uh, the conclusion. Since you've been in the business so long, can you tell me a little about how um, the climate climate was in the porn industry in the late 70s, early 80s in San Francisco and Los Angeles? Uh, it was a very small industry in a sense. It's not not many uh, not many productions like there are now, but mo mainly uh, feature productions. Uh, the main part of the movies, and there was theater. Uh, uh, people saw them in theaters, so there, uh, there wasn't a mass production of uh, of uh, product that there is now. You know, because of video and DVD. Uh, it was a different, just a completely different kind of uh, era. Uh, it wasn't as hard. It was very, it was graphic, but the sex scenes were shorter, I think, probably. More, it's more stories, I guess. Which is, I think, okay in the initial part of it, of, of this industry. What happened when the video came into the business in early Well, it made it more accessible to people. It was cheaper, so more people can could have could afford the equipment, so, and, um, and more people could uh, produce product and, and try to make a, a living at it. Is that better, you think? Well, no better, it's, it's just the way things are. You know, you can't go back because it doesn't fit now. There's still, no, there's room for a variety of stuff. There's room for features, there's room for, you know, uh, just straight wall-to-wall -wall sex, you know, and fetishes. And, there's a lot of variety of stuff, which, since more people are exposed to it, uh, their tastes become more varied. Uh, so the, the business sort of answers that need, you know. How come you stopped doing performing in 1985? <laughs> For the time, clip me on the chin. <laughs> it was, you know, I just wanted to do something else, you know, just get into it. Uh, a different kind of uh, create creativity of the, of the uh, business or just movie making. What do you have to have up here to become a male performer in the industry? Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have that. I then. think that's all you need now. Anybody can do it. Just like that. <laughs> uh, just it's just focusing on what you're doing. What did you, what did uh, what um, did you do before you became a, 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 a performer in the 70s? I had a, I was a musician, I had a band. I was also a, a painter and did some commercial artwork too. Where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? I'm um, retired, just growing my vegetables <laughs> and painting, I guess. What other job other than this would you like to attend if you didn't do this? Job? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I was just fortunate enough to make make a living at this. It's uh, it's a a, a visual uh, expression, and which I normally do in painting, you know. Uh, but this particular uh, form is commercial, so it uh, allows you to make a living. It just happened. It wasn't planned. It just one thing led to another. You know. Tell me about a typical day at your work, doing film. You get on set at a certain time. Uh, you make sure everybody's on time. You hope they are, and uh, you get the makeup going. You uh, make sure the wardrobe's intact, all set up so you can see what you're going to uh, have displayed on the performers. Um, just the, all the departments that you have at that particular shoot are ready to go. So you can go one, two, three, four, and then you shoot, or whatever. How come the men stay in the business much longer than women? They only stay for 10 years. A man can be like 20. Well, it's, it's obvious. I mean, people, uh, I think that people would like uh, more new men, as, you know, but it just is, it doesn't seem to, uh, uh, I don't know, attract that, that many as much as the women. And people want to see new girls all the time. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest difference of uh, porn films in the 70s compared to now? The difference between the films? I don't know. I mean, it's, it was all film then. 
Uh, I just think there's a more variety of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the, I think, movies that are done are so sort of boring. You know, because it's, it's, I mean, I don't, for me, I'm, it, it, maybe people like it. It's just, you know, a lot of yapping and then fucking and yapping and then fucking. You know, it's just uh, soap operas. I don't want to see soap operas. The sex you know, scenes. Soap operas on TV, you know what I mean? The sex I like to see something a little more creative, a little more, uh, I don't know, mind thing, some mind thing, something, a vision. The sex you know, scenes seem more clinical these days than they did then. Well, yeah, I mean, they're more graphic. So, but again, you're, you're working with, you can't be limited by what, you know, uh, you're allowed to show. You have to, what I do is I create a, a, a what I try to create a, um, an illusion that you, you sort of, if you have somebody's attention, the way you put the images together and show them what they want to see um, is sort of hypnotizing. So once you have their attention, so you, you play with that and you allow their mind to work and not just rely on how graphic you are. And you can be just as graphic, but there are sensations you can stir as you put any visual medium together. And that's what I do. There's no specific formula to that. It's a sense. It's a sense of putting it together. It's, uh, I've said this before that everybody's essentially doing the same card trick. If I ask you to pick a card and you pick it, you put it back in the deck, and I show it to you, you say, well, that's nice, yeah, it's my card. But if it's in your back pocket, wow, that's a surprise. It's revealed a certain way. So it's how you reveal this uh, piece of work that makes something stand out from something else or makes it more interesting. You just can't show a picture of it. That's not good enough anymore. You know, 50 years ago, one picture would, could stimulate someone to no end, just a picture of something. But you have to go more than that because we people are, have been exposed to more. So you have to be more creative. And I don't mean artsy craftsy. I mean more creative in, in a subtle way that allows people to get involved in the emotion that's going on at the time.